Today, we're talking about dog fooding. Welcome to another episode of Appetizers, bite-sized insights for app developers. I'm Max from Google AdMob. Now, dog fooding, or using your own product, has become a common practice for developers, and for good reason. Sometimes, obvious problems for users are overlooked when developing too much too quickly. Now, to help you be a better dog fooder, here are three common pitfalls to avoid when dog fooding your own apps. Number one, avoid getting sidetracked by personal pet peeves. Dog fooding your own product will surface a lot of pain points that you're going to want to change. Now, remember that your personal pet peeve may not be what your users actually find most frustrating. Let the data found in Google Analytics and user reviews guide you. Number two, don't forget to update onboarding material. When you begin fixing bugs, a lot of times, the tutorial that explains your app to new users when first signing on is the last element to change. Make sure to update this onboarding material as you make changes to your app flow. This could prevent a confusing user experience and decreased engagement. And number three, don't ignore the user's perspective. When dogfooding, you're not trying to evaluate the product as an app developer, but as a user. If you're building a messaging app for college students, assess your app from that perspective, not from your own. It may even be worth bringing in a focus group of actual users and observing them while they interact with your app. And that's it. Next episode, we're going to dive more deeply into user interviews and discuss seven ways to get the most out of your conversations with users. If you found this information helpful and want to learn even more, be sure to download our new ebook, The No Nonsense Guide to Growing Your App. Also, if you have any questions, let us know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.